game from the ground up. So I'm the only programmer, so there's no not somebody else messing up my code. So um, the benefits of having multiple programmers is speed. You can get more done quickly. Uh, the benefits of having fewer programmers, only one programmer, is uh, quality because everything that is put in works uh, perfectly with everything else because um, you know how everything else works so you know how not to break all the other systems that are in the game um, you know when you have one guy doing this and another guy doing that uh, the, they don't know what each other's doing unless they're in constant communication and then you need somebody's a director over them that kind of makes sure that they're on the same page not breaking each other's code and uh, or also how to integrate this guy's code with this guy's code and um, but since there's only one coder um, I don't have that issue and yeah if, if you'd hire another programmer they would have to work on a very isolated system so that they didn't mess up your stuff yeah and we all work from home so everybody in our studio works from home so they can there's not an office that we have to go to or you know I go to work and you know my pajamas <laughs> so, uh, you know everybody can work from home so they don't have to go to some office environment and um, we do have meetings we have meetings uh, remotely and have Zoom meetings and we go ahead and we go over you know things and schedules and um, expectations and how to do things and stuff like that but other than that, I you know it's, it's been great. Um, Other than the media, I don't like the media. <laughs> yeah, media sometimes uh, does not we, like you either. I think, sadly, the big yeah, media, media doesn't, doesn't want make anything. People like humans. Yeah, uh, I mean they're only interested in what gets them uh, views because that's how they make their money. So negativity yeah. always does tend to get more views than positivity. Especially when you're, you know, you have this big breaking news story that this 500k successful, um, you know, Kickstarter from an indie no-name dev, um, you know, is a scam. And now everybody's like, what? And then they get millions of views. So. And then it turns out it's a lie. Yeah, and so uh, then if we. Hopefully they're gonna rescind once. Oh, you know they won't. Updates. You know people. You know the people who've made videos will be like, "Nah, I still think it's a scam." Well, yes. if they ever came out with a video saying it's not a scam, then they lose all their credibility, so they're not going to do that. No, of course not. People don't like to lose their credibility. They want to be seen as correct all the time, even when they're not. All right, I'm ahead out, guys. Have a nice day. But what about all the day Dragon's okay. apology videos? <laughs> All those apology videos. I was wrong about Day of Dragons. It was such a scam. I shouldn't have burn it. Meh, 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 meh. Yeah, that could work. Videos like that? Views. I haven't seen any of those <laughs> videos. <laughs> nah. Hopefully, though. I've People seen a lot, but about not for you. Community has done. Yeah, there's um, been nothing, like, not a lot recently. There's people who've done update videos. I think everyone knows who I'm talking about. That didn't have any update in it. Just, hey, there's this stuff which is like old, and then there's a bunch of stuff which I didn't mention, but I'm not going to tell you that I didn't mention it. Ha 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 ha. Uh, someone's yes. asking in chat if everyone's going well health wise and if it's been difficult because of the current COVID crisis. Oh, uh, we had uh, one or two developers get COVID. <clears throat> um, but. I can't say that everybody's health has been great because um, a couple of our developers have, uh, because of the drama and the stress from last fall, they developed health problems and have been on medication. So, it's like antidepressants and stuff like that. I'm guessing it uh, it had it took a huge toll on our developers and because it was a lot of stress. I mean, just think of it if you have people, you know. Uh, wishing you died and sending you horrible emails and trying to find out where you live and saying that they're going to come and kill you. I mean, is that going to, what's that going to do for your health? I mean, it's not going to help you very much. So uh, that's what we went through. And 
and then you know you get these videos saying that I'm this mad raging developer. You know what? Anybody that had people doing that kind of stuff to them would also be very very angry. And uh, so I had every right to get mad at those nasty, dirty developers or dirty uh, YouTubers that said those things about us. It was it was horrible. I, I know you answered this question a couple of months ago, J.O., but have there been any new updates on the visual uh, FX artists? Uh, I've talked to a couple. Um, and I'm a lot of the uh, VFX artists I've, that I've talked to are all booked with other projects, and it's real, been really hard to uh, get anybody um, who's good. Now I have a lot of uh, artists that have offered to help, and I've looked at their work, and they don't. It doesn't. It's not really the quality that I'm looking for. Because I have very high quality standards for my game, as you can see by looking at my models and my and the animations and things like that. Um, so uh, finding the uh, somebody who because all the v VFX for the game have to be done in the Unreal Engine using either Cascade or Niagara, and so I have to find somebody who is skilled with Cascade or Niagara in the Unreal Engine, and uh, so that. Uh, you know, and those people are that are really good are a lot of them are really booked for work. And the people that aren't really good um, would love to do the job, but um, I don't want I don't want uh, cheesy looking uh, particle effects in the game. I want really good looking fire and ice and lightning effects in the game. Uh, would you think it would be worth it to hire a technical artist, uh, either for the integration of uh, like animation trees or blend shapes, and in this case, visual effects? Because usually technical artists are able to do this very well. I'm definitely opening to hiring a visual effects artist or technical artist that knows how to do visual effects. I just uh, I haven't found the right person yet. Um, And after all this stuff that happened on uh, YouTube, it's um, you know people are all kind of like watching us to see what's going to happen before they, you know, they don't know what to think right now because there's you know you got people with millions of subscribers that said that we're a scam, you know, and then you got ten of us that say, hey, no, we're not, <laughs> you know, so you know they had the numbers, but. We have the uh, the product, you know, the product's going to speak for itself. We just got to get there. Uh, people have been asking if we're going to get some small teasers for the mega map before it's fully revealed. I know we've already gotten some teasers for the ice map, but like for the others. Yeah, uh, as we get like in closed testing phase five, that's when the mega map will start being tested in closed testing. That's probably when we will start showing that off. Um, what we do is we sh uh, we don't like showing off what is not done in our game. Um, we like showing off what we have done. So like everything that you've seen here, you know, like the IK, that's pretty much done. Yeah, it needs some polish, but it's pretty much done. Um, the uh, character menu, the uh, safe logging. Like here's the log out button. It says caution because I'm not logging out safe. But if I go to sleep, then you'll see that there's a timer that starts. And when that timer's up, then I'll be able to safe log out of the game. If I save if I log out before that timer's up, then and my uh character's still in. Um Chad is being wholesome again. Just thought I'd let you know. Who is that? Like a lot of people in chat are sending hearts and being saying that you're good devs and that they appreciate you. Oh, I thought you said Chad. <laughs> yeah, I thought you said Chad. Oh no, Chad. <laughs> I apologize like, Chad? for my accent. <laughs> hey Chad. Hey man, what's up? I really appreciate what you're doing. <laughs> 
<laughs> we are all dead. <laughs> but yeah, that's how our safe logging works. You have to be asleep. Uh, and then the timer counts down if you log out and you're not sleeping. Um, then uh, your character stays in the game for a minute. And so you can get killed while you're logged out if you didn't safe log. Mm -hmm. So that's done. Um, and um, yeah, we want to show people off and like when I, we make a trailer, it's going to be a trailer of what is actually in the game and coming in Genesis. It's not going to be a trailer of a bunch of stuff that is stuff that is not even going to be in the update. So, um, you know, other companies do stuff like that. We're not going to do that. Uh, we show off what we've already Can done. Again, for like the third time. Uh, someone in chat is ad asking if the acid spitter is going to be better at climbing stuff since it can't fly. Uh, it is very, very fast and maneuverable, and it can jump really good. Um, I don't know if I've shown off the IK to you guys yet, but like in Alpha, um, you don't have any any uh, alignment with uh, the slopes. It's just uh, straight, but you know we got IK working, and that was why we had to redo the rig on the Alpha. The acid spares because we need to get the IK, a solid IK rig. And Back was broken or something. Yeah. Or wasn't it? Like, yeah, it had no spine. There was no bones it in the spine. Was on the ground while his front legs were. And so away. anytime he was on a slope, his back would break in half. And so. <laughs> Whoops. It was like a sheer, just like straight line down. It was quite funny actually. But yeah. uh, the, the acid spitter doesn't have a jump animation yet, does it? No. Um, Carly's working on the rig for the shadow scale and the elemental, and then she's doing the egg animations. Uh, and then she'll go back to animating the, the acid spitter. Oh no, egg. there's another long message I don't really want to read, but it's wholesome. <laughs> I wish I could read all those things. Oh. Uh, so, Pookie Giraffe says that it's terrible. The drama that happened that you didn't, did you guys didn't deserve to be treated like that. And generally, generally speaking, that um, they they had to leave the, the the Discord as you did back then, and they came back recently and are happy to see that it's doing better. Well, thank you. Whoever said that. That's a summary because I'm not good at reading out loud. <laughs> I can always help if you need me to de delegate some stuff to me if you'd like. Next time there's a big break like that, I'll give it to you. Okay, will do. Yeah, Pookie Giraffe posted that. Oh, well, thank you. Um... Wow. Does anyone have the size charts for the creatures? Some people in chat are asking for them. Uh, I think I do. Hold on. I'll post it in voice no mic. Perfect, thank you. Cutting around your corpse. I have a question. Uh, which dragon are you most excited to work on for as far as its abilities go? I get excited when every was working on every dragon. This is like a it's a dream come true. So I can't like say there's one that I don't like because I like every one of them because I've I'm the one that imagined all the dragons that are coming in the game. So <laughs> you know I have this list of all these dragons that I want to make, and I'm excited for every one of them because they're all important parts of the ecosystem. So um, I was excited when. We were working on the Acid Spitter. I'm excited when we were working on the uh, Shadow Scale. I'm excited about the Flame Stalker, the Inferno. I mean, all the other ones that you guys have seen and the ones you haven't seen, I'm excited about all of them. So, Which dragon am I going to be playing? Uh, probably all of them. I mean, I, I, honestly, when I play with you guys, I'm probably going to just be hanging out, you know, watching you guys enjoy my game. That's I'm probably not going to be enjoying it so much as watching you guys enjoy it and just kind of hanging out with people on different servers. Um, I think that's what's most rewarding about being a developer. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, even the testers, when they, they're like, wow, this is so awesome. I'm like, yes, yes, it is. It's be awesome. <laughs> Ogre dragon is carrying his own corpse. Uh, are you currently in the map where there's the carrying your own corpse models? as well? Or because someone's the asking about someone's asking if there's going to be different models. I answered yes, and I wanted to them to see the difference. So if you're in the right map, could you show that? Might be in one of the other maps because this looks like a gym more than. Uh, this is the IK area. This is where we oh, test okay. IK. Oops. Go up the stairs. Go up the stairs. <laughs> They're working out before Genesis is here. It is the gym map. Okay. Yeah, so someone <laughs> was asking about the baby, and I want them to see the very pudgy little babies that are absolutely adorable. This is uh, where we test IK in physics. So, on this yeah. area. Lunchbox. And is it still planned to have around, say you have a portal in the forest that goes to the ice biome, is there still going to be like ice elements around the portal to signify which area it's going to? Or... Um, they are. You know which, which portal or where you're going once you go in the portal and then... Okay. Because of the color of the portal travel. Now, people are going to make maps and they'll say, you know, we found this portal and this goes to this area. And we found this por portal and it goes to this area. Just put yeah, that so with a note out of pen, like, it goes here. Hey. <laughs> so, for people in chat who were asking about the baby model, so as you can see, their proportions are more chubby. The eyes look much larger on the babies as well because eyes don't really change size through age. Just and the they're size generally size. speaking just like bigger head and shorter body. Look at his chubby little face <laughs> and his short little tail. Uh, someone in chat is asking if you're going to have a visual notification as to when you can fly or when you can hatch or stuff like that. It's so budgy. <laughs> it's so budgy. Yeah, so is there going to be a visual notification saying you're now 0 0.5 size, you can fly, or you're, are you just going to have to discover it yourself? Uh, there can be. Um... There's going to be, if somebody presses F and they can't fly, it will, you'll get a little hint that says you are not old enough to fly yet. Um, so, you know, that's maybe some feedback. Maybe players can help us make that the way it needs to be. But um, you'll definitely get a thing that says you can't, you're, you're not old enough to fly yet. But. All right. Right, and right now you know if you don't have a file, you can't fly. True, also that. And someone, the, the person was also asking if, well, I'm going to guess a lot of these bugs have been fixed because they're like bugs that are in the alpha right now, but sometimes you'll get stuck on something and not be able to turn towards an AI that's attacking you. They were asking if the dragon would slightly turn towards something attacking them. But that's mostly because of bugs that exist in the alpha right now that we can't. Yeah, any bug that exists in the alpha is not going to be necessarily in Genesis because uh, I'm not using the same code. It's been completely redone. And uh, so there's no way that the bugs could be uh, in, uh, you know, carried over unless I did the exact same thing twice, which I have done before. Um, but uh, any kind of collision bugs, uh, that's how I did the collision in Alpha. So it's not how I'm probably going to do the collision in Genesis. There's a baby. There's a juvie. There's the adult. And there's the alpha. 